okay, which of these statements is a hypothesis? So you're going to get a question or two on uh, knowing these definitions of scientific terms, right? Like hypotheses or hypothesis, uh, observations, theory, inference, and terms like that. All right, no, doesn't necessarily have anything to do with biology. All right, let's uh, see which. Uh, so um, when you when you get a question about a hypothesis, um, you want to know two things. Um, it has to be testable. It's a prediction that has to be uh, is able to be tested experimentally. And then number two, the results have to be uh, measurable. So they kind of go hand in hand. All right. So those two things are what the test wants you to know. All right. Choice A: the presence of an enzyme increase the reaction rate. Um, that's simply an observation. You can put in an enzyme and see uh, and observe that. The reaction rate increased 100% once the enzyme was introduced. Again, that's just something you can observe. Um, these are not predictions. They've already happened. You've observed it. Introducing an enzyme into a reaction did not increase the reaction rate. That's another observation. All right, choice D, when an enzyme is introduced, the reaction rate will increase. Well, they didn't make this one very hard, did they? All right, this is the only one that is form is worded into a predictive statement. Uh, and yeah, you can test this just like the other ones, and then you can measure it using a uh, a clock or a timer, uh, see if the the rate increased. All right, they didn't make that too tough, and uh, not surprising. All right, most students did get that right. Pause the video if you want to read the annotation.